travel lift is here to take us. So they're putting plastic over the straps, I guess so that it doesn't damage our boat. So that's it. We're getting in the slings. They're putting them under now. Really nervous. We're going down tomorrow and they put us in the slings today. So overnight we'll be up here and then tomorrow we'll be gone. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Welcome to the 24 Hour Travelers channel. We are Sam and Renee, and we have been exploring an alternative lifestyle for five years now in van life and boat life. We are based in Malaysia, a paradise in Asia that provides us access to an abundance of beautiful beaches, tropical rainforests, and best of all, a wide diversity in culture. We are now experiencing life on a sailboat in Langkawi and will soon explore the 99 islands available to us. This season, we share the work we do to maintain our sailboat as well as what it's like living in a marina and one day out at an anchorage. Come join us as we learn to sail and navigate our way around this gorgeous island. guys we are on the day of splash we are in the sling of this travel lift and uh, we stayed overnight in it so now we are setting up the lines because we have a friend a good friend who's teaching us how to sail today and he's helping us rig up the lines so there's a couple more things that we have to do we have to still fill our tank with fuel it's sitting in there um, we also have to put a zinc anode on and we have to remove this bimini so i think we got to get started uh, <coughs> good morning good morning sir good morning uh, good morning so now uh, what we have done this morning was we july 27th 2022 it is the day we finally launch our sailboat ujuk this was a nail-biting experience for the both of us. We had to rely on each other all the way through the months of boat work and now our sailboat was finally ready to be lowered into the big sea. During the morning of our splash day, under the supervision of our coach, we prepared our sailboat to raise our mainsail for the journey ahead. With the lack of experience and this being our first boat launch, we needed our coach there to guide us and deliver our boat from BNV to Telaga Harbour Marina. Are you pulling back? Reflecting back to the days in the boatyard, we faced many ups and downs and some days, we even felt a lot of doubt and whether we made the right move buying a sailboat. Everything was so foreign to us. At this point, all we wanted to do was to sail away and head to a marina to start living aboard. Pulling Sam's dream. Our boat has become our university, our dormitory, our classroom, our canteen, and even our playground. There are more challenges ahead. One day we'll have to face bad weather and we might not make it. For now, this is our adventure together. Will she float? Were our seacocks installed properly? Did we service our engine enough? Will we ever leave this boatyard? These were just some of the thoughts flooding our mind. As our sailboat Ujut lowered into the sea, we neglected to film everything we were doing. For those of you who might own a boat one day and want to know, this is what happened. 
they kept us in the slings while we checked all our seacocks for leaks. We lubricated the propeller shaft seal and also checked for leaks. We opened the seawater intake seacock and then started our engine. We then let the engine run for a good 10 minutes before signaling the boys to remove the travel lift slings. We waited for their signal to go and off we went. Finally, we're in the water and sailing away to our next destination. Although the marina is just nearby, 15 nautical miles to be exact, it will be our address for the next few months while we take in the whole new experience of living aboard our new home. After a quick lunch and a swim, we continued on our journey and once we made it to the entrance of Talaga Harbour Marina, we stopped to prepare our dock lines and radioed in. As we entered, we slowed our speed down and our coach taught us to look out for the entry point arrows, the channel markers and also to be aware of dangerous rocks. We have improved how we communicate with each other during the days of doubt. We reminded one another about why we are doing this. It feels like this boat life fits our future and travelling to beautiful islands is ahead of us once we learn to become one with our boat and understand how she works. Maiden voyage and we made it. Ooh, I got seasick. You get seasick? Uh, yeah, a bit. We hope you enjoyed today's video of the launch. I can't believe she's in the water. After three months of hard work getting her ready, plus two years of getting ourselves ready, we are finally living aboard and soaking the sunrises, sunsets, the sound of water, and also accepting that the weather determines how we spend our day. We have so much to learn and skills to build ahead of us. We look forward to sharing it all with you. See you in the next video and don't forget to like, Subscribe and share